Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, guys, we uh, now we have to discuss the cyclic quadrilaterals. Okay, uh, we have previously discussed that, like, if you look at this chord AC, this is dividing the circle into two parts. Similarly, this chord PR. This is dividing the circle into two parts. And we have dis discussed this thoroughly, the relationship between this angle Q and this angle S, okay? Uh, this angle PQR is in the major segment. Therefore, this is an acute angle. This angle PSR is in the minor segment. And uh, this is therefore, uh, I mean, an obtuse angle. The smaller is the, the angle, the bigger, the smaller is the sec segment, the bigger is the angle there. Now, this is uh, this AC is the diameter over here. So th this is going to divide the circle into two parts. So when this is dividing the circle into two equal parts, the angles, it will be subtending onto the circumference, onto the circle on both the sides. They are going to be equal, okay? When they are going to be equal, so you see that they are right angles as well. So from here, we can say that, okay, the angles on the opposite sides of a segment, they are supplementary. Like if this X plus Y, this has been discussed in the previous uh, session as well, okay? So X plus Y is 180. Like wherever you have this chord, it, it like the angles on its opposite sides, they will add up to 180 degrees. We have also discussed that if, for example, you have an angle over here, so this angle will also be the angle X because um, the sum has to be maintained as 180. So this is angle X, this is angle X over here. If I name this as the point T over here, okay? So this gives us uh, the second property, the angles, the same segment, they are equal. Anyhow, now, if you look at this A, B, C, D, this is a four-sided shape. And we know that the four-sided shapes, they are called the quadrilaterals, okay? So, and these are, this is a special quadrilateral because all its vertices, they are on the circumference of, of the circle. Similarly, if you look at this uh, over here, this P, Q, R, S, this P, Q, R, S, or you look at this uh, P, T, R, S, these are also the cyclic quadrilaterals. So once you have a cyclic quadrilateral, uh, by looking at this X plus Y, if this X plus Y is 180, if this X plus Y is 180, and suppose you have here the angle A and here the angle B. So what would you say about the angles A and B? What is the sum of all the four angles of, of a quadrilateral? Yes? Malaika, what is the sum of all these four angles? Of a quadrilateral. That is 360. And if two of the angles add up to 180, what will be the sum of the other two angles? 180. 180. Very good. So you see that the sum of these two angles is 180 and these two angles are also going to add up to 180 degrees. So we have a rule here that whenever we have a cyclic quadrilateral, okay, you have a quadrilateral where all the uh, four vertices, they are on the circumference, okay, of the circle, then like maybe it may be like this. So this is uh, a cyclic quadrilateral. Let me call this as W, X, Y, and Z, okay? So the sum of these two angles over here, if this is, suppose if this angle is 100 degrees, then this is this angle is definitely 80 degrees, okay? If this angle is 70 degrees, then this angle is definitely 110 degrees. So that is what we, we have from the, these cyclic quadrilaterals that the opposite angles, they add up to 180 degrees. And you can write it like when you're giving a reason, you can say, okay, this, these are the opposite angles of a cyclic this is how, like, for example, if this was the angle A over here, okay? And you were trying to say that, okay, this angle A plus 100 is equal to 180. So this is the reason that you will be giving in front of this, that the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral, they add up to um, 180 degrees. 
Okay, this is your angle A over here. Now there's one more thing. Uh, now suppose if I extend, if I extend this line over here, suppose I'm extending this, okay, like this, or I extend this line like this, okay, or I extend this, this line over here like this, okay, or I extend this line like this. Yes? Now, you see that, uh, what is 100 plus A? Now we have already got it as 80, okay? Can I say this angle is 80 as well? Yes, Malaika? Can I say this is 80 as well? Yes. Because these are the angles in straight line. If this is 70 over here, can I say that this angle over here is 100? Yes, 110, sorry, 110. Sorry, 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 sorry. This is 110. Yeah. Anna? Okay, now, if you look at this extended line over here, can I say if this is 80, can I say this angle is 100 degrees? Hmm? Because it's a straight line. Yeah. Okay? And similarly, I can also say that this is going to be 70 degrees, okay? So this gives us the second property of circles that the um, an exterior angle, this was the first property, the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. Now the second property is that the an exterior angle, an exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to its opposite interior angle. Okay, now look at this exterior angle is equal to its opposite interior angle. This exterior angle is equal to its opposite interior angle, okay? This exterior angle is equal to its opposite interior angle, which is 80. So th this happens only in the cyclic quadrilateral, okay? Okay, now I'll be taking you to the tangents on a circle. Okay, now we move on to the tangents part of the circle properties, okay? Now when we have tangents on circles, like you see here, it is O is the center, this is the point A over here, and let's call this line AB. Now this line AB is a tangent onto the circle over here, okay? So we have a property over here that um, um, the radius is perpendicular to the tangent. The radius is perpendicular to the tangent, okay? So whenever there is a circle, okay? And if you draw from the center, like you draw the radius at the point where you have the tangent. Now, suppose uh, you have another tangent over here like this, okay? And if you draw the radius at the same at the same point over here you will see that this is going to be perpendicular to it okay so there is a right angle like suppose if you draw another tangent over here let's say like this so you will see that if i draw the tangent at the same point over here okay so see that this is going to be perpendicular to the tangent. So just remember that the radius is perpendicular to the tangent, okay? Now, uh, when you have a circle, okay? Now suppose here is a circle over here, okay? But like a, suppose we have a point A over here. Here is a point A. How many tangents can I draw from this point A? Like the tangents should be drawn in such a way that they are going to pass from the point A and they should be tangent onto the circle. How many tangents I can draw? Look at this, the first tangent. How many tangents I can draw, Malaika, at mm -hmm. most? Yes, I can draw just two tangents, okay? And these are the tangents like this, okay? Now, 
Uh, okay. So this is the center over here. Um, I call this point O, this point is P, this point is Q, okay. I want to draw a line OP. Look at this. Doesn't it look to be perpendicular onto AP? And similarly, I draw a line here, OQ, okay? So when you have two tangents from a point on a circle, what is happening here? Just see, <clears throat> you know that this is a right angle over here. There is a right angle over here, okay? And this is the radius. This is the radius, okay? And this OA is common in both the triangles. Malaika, can I say that the triangle OPA is congruent to the triangle, the triangle OQA, yes or no? Hmm? Yes. Because you have OP equal to OQ, they are both the radius. You have um, OA equal to OA. This is common in both the triangles, yes, Anna? And then you have this OPA angle that is equal to the angle OQA, okay? These are both right angles. These are, because we know that radius is perpendicular to the tangent, okay? Now, when these two are the, these two are two congruent triangles, can I say this AP will be equal to AQ? Yes? Yes? Yes. Because these are the corresponding sides of two congruent triangles. Now I can also say that this angle will be equal to this angle because these two triangles are congruent. This angle should be equal to this angle, okay? So that is how, um, that is what happens when you have two tangents uh, from a point onto a circle. So the very first thing is that the tangents AP and AP are, AP and AQ are equal, okay? Tangents on a circle from the same point are equal. That is the first thing that you must remember. And what is this OA doing? Can I say this OA, OA is the, this OA is the line of symmetry, yes? Yeah. Because everything on both sides of this OA, that is going to be um, exactly identical. So this is, uh, this OA is an, I, I mean, line of, uh, this is a line of symmetry and this is bisecting the angle at A and the angle at O, okay? So this is another identity over here that uh, the line joining the center and this point over here, it, it bisects the angles at A and O. Acha Malaika, can I say that this, tri this quadrilateral OPAQ, though it is a kite right now, okay? This is exactly a kite. Can I say that this is also a cyclic quadrilateral? This OPAQ. This is also a cyclic quadrilateral. Yes. Why? Why? Why did did you say yes? Um, <clears throat> because the tangent is on the circle and yes. Uh, and the radius is perpendicular to the tangent and. 
Okay, let me let me make it clear. Normally, people say no because they know that um, a triangle, I mean, a quadrilateral whose all vertices are on the circumference only, then that is a cyclic quadrilateral. But look at this A. This is not on the circumference. This O is not on the circumference, but this is still a cyclic cyclic quadrilateral because what is P plus Q? What is P plus Q? One eighty. Then what should be O plus A? 180. 180. So even you don't see all these four vertices on the circumference, but you, you have identified, yes, the opposite angles are supplementary. So this is a cyclic quadrilateral. Okay. So now in the next segment, we shall uh, practice these questions on circles from past papers. So see you in the next segment.